you have a product or a service, but no one knows it exists. You don't know how to promote it. You don't know how to sell it. And since you are starting out, you don't have enough money to create some ads. So how do you generate leads? How do you make people come to you? That is the biggest question ever. And the more I talk to people, the more I notice that everyone seems to ask that same question. A few get it and a few don't. And there are a million techniques and strategies about lead generation. Some people will tell you that cold calling is the best strategy. Some people will tell you that Facebook marketing, either organic or paid. Some people say that YouTube, some people say that SEO. Let me tell you something, they all work. Some work better for a specific type of industries or, you know, business and some work for another specific kind. You have to use what's better for you, what works for you, depending on the tools that you have, depending on your abilities and depending on what you are selling. I'm going to mention in this video the two ways where you can generate leads. There are some ways that are going to bring you some cash tomorrow, but they are not going to build a brand for the future, okay? If we need to pay uh, some bills, we have to do some aggressive techniques, but we are not building something for the future. And remember that in the long run, we want to use less our time. So you have to start using both right now. Once for the cash tomorrow and the other one for the long run. So let's get started with these two techniques. We have the aggressive uh, technique. If you have money to invest, you can do any kind of ad. You can do ad on Google, uh, Facebook, Instagram. You can pay an influencer to promote your product in any social media platform. Those are going to bring you leads. They are going to cost you money, depending on your strategies, depending on what you post is how much results you are going to get. Let's um, keep in mind that not all of these leads are, you know, are qualified to buy from us. I can raise my hand and say, okay, I like that ad, but I don't want to buy I don't know, a car right now. I don't have the money. I don't have that need, but I just like the ad. So I click on it. You paid for that click. And I'm just curious, but I'm not willing to buy. You're going to get a lot of those, those leads. So just be willing to get many, many leads. Not all of them are going to, you know, be worth what you paid, but some do. And if you get a few sales for out of that, it, it was worth it. This strategy is not good in the long run because you are not building a brand and people are going to forget about you tomorrow. Think about this, okay. You have the money to make a Facebook ad right now and you do and you promote your product, the launch of a new product, but I'm seeing your ad in my Facebook profile, but I'm also seeing like 10 different ads right now. You are not the only company promoting out there and you are not the only one who is showing me their stuff. So people get overwhelmed, get confused. They see a bunch of brands, a bunch of noise and colors and you know, there's a lot of competition. So people are most likely to forget about you. Okay, it's really hard to stand out in these days. Also, we have the organic strategies in the aggressive uh, technique. The organic strategies could be reaching out to people. You can either reach out to them on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, on any platform, depending where they are. You can connect with them, add them as a friend, and say, hey, um, nice to meet you, I do this, I 
think that it could be beneficial to you, it solved this problem. The thing with this is that it used to work very, very well, but a lot of people are using these strategies right now and it's really hard to get results. You need to prove that you know what you're talking about. You need to prove that you have a name, that you have results, that you can back up what you're saying, that you are not a fraud, because a lot of people are misusing these strategies. It's really good because it's free. Well, it's not free because it takes your time, but it's free because it doesn't require any money. But if you start um, spamming people on Facebook or on LinkedIn right now, you're going to annoy them, okay? And you're not going to get any results. Just try to picture this. If you want to invite someone on a date and they don't know who you are, you're a stranger to them, you just don't go and say, hey, my name is Anna and I want to invite you to dinner tomorrow. Are you available? That is very rude, that is very aggressive, and it sounds really desperate, okay? Try to picture that same scenario um, between that prospect and your company. You need to build trust first. And try to use them not to sell, but to move those prospects somewhere you control. That could be a Facebook group, for example. So if you are uh, reaching out to people every single day, try to make them take a decision, but that decision should not be buying from you at this same moment. That decision could be, hey, I want to invite you here. I want to invite you to my group. I have this webinar. I have something free that is going to be helpful for you. You have to remember some something at this uh, precise time. Okay, we want to generate leads and we are targeting a thousand people. Not that thousand people is ready to buy right now that product. Also, you have competition. So there's some other options available to them. So they have to decide if they want that product. They have to decide if they want you or your competition. And there are also substitute products. So we have to remember that when we want to generate leads. That's the problem with the aggressive way because we want people to respond to us right now. We want people to buy from us now. I have this, do you want it? Yes or no? And people have to make decisions. So we have to move them from the platform where we found them, somewhere we control. That is going to take longer. That is the long a strategy, but it's better. I think it's more efficient and it's more human friendly. Because picture this, you would not want someone to do that to you, okay? If someone is, please buy, please buy, see this product, please, it's on sale, come on. You're going just, you're just going to run away. You don't want to, anything to do with them. They are very annoying. You know, it's very, very, you know, you get really upset and really frustrated and pissed off if someone is chasing you just for your money. We have to do it the friendly way. I say that to my clients all the time and it's work better. This is the long run. So the long run is we are going to pick a platform. It could be any platform, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever. What platform? Well, where are your clients? Pick that platform. Now, we are going to build our profiles or page the best we can, okay? We are going to show proof of what we're doing. We are going to show testimonials. We are going to post great photos. And now, I suggest that we do this with our page as a person, my page as Anna, not my page as my company. My company page is going to back up what I'm saying. But me, Anna, is the one who's going to reach out to people because people like other people. 
and they buy from people who they like and trust, not from companies. And they are more likely to remember me, Anna, than my company. So we have a company page and we have a personal page, okay? The company page backs up what we're saying, okay? So now that we have our personal page, it could be any employee in our company if we don't wanna use our own. And if you have personal stuff that you don't want anyone to see it, just hide it or build an, a new one, okay? Just show business stuff. Don't open up so much because they are strangers. The next thing that you need to do is we need to define who is our target. Who do we want to sell? So we can reach out to them. You can reach out to them paid or organically. Paid could be you can buy automation tools that are going to add people into your um, page or into your profile. LinkedIn has a lot of tools or we can do it organically. We can add friends on Facebook. We can, you know, add people on LinkedIn, whatever. YouTube, we can pay for ads or we can do it organically. Every platform works the same both ways, organically and paid. And now that we have People coming into our pipeline, first, we need, we want them to see us. We are not going to speak to them. Please be patient. What are they going to see? We need to post content and that content should be good. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you sell a product or a service. You need to do it. Content could be people using our product, could be recipes, could be, um, I don't know, techniques about something, could be class online, could be educational videos, could be fun videos, I don't know. Entertain your audience first, okay? Why? What you sell probably already exists, okay? If not the same, something similar. So people are paralyzed or they are scared to buy from you because they had a bad experience in the past with your competition, okay? And they didn't like something. So they think that everyone who helps, who sells that is going to do the same to them. They are going to have that experience always. So we need to lower their guard and we need to convince them that what we do is great. The point here is people are going to watch your content and they're going to engage with it. They are going to like, they're going to comment, they're going to share it. And so once that people show some interest in your content, then you're going to reach out to them and you're not being aggressive, you are just replying to something and you're going to start asking them questions first. Let them speak first. What do you do? Hey, I do this. I have this problem. I want to fix this. They are going to start speaking and you're going to start analyzing and evaluating if they are a good fit for you or not. That is the best way to generate leads because you are converting them there. You are engaging with them you are um, filtering if they're a good fit or no, and if they are, then you're going to sell them. Finally, the last tip here is, do not take anything personally. Not everyone's going to agree to buy from you right now. Like I said before, they need to take some decisions, but here's the thing, in difference of the aggressive way, if they, do not want to buy from you right now, but they showed some interest, let them continue seeing your content. You can either retarget them on Facebook, you can add them into a group and continue posting, you can send them emails, okay, if you already have their email. Whatever uh, strategy do you want to take, there are many, many strategies, but the point here is let them see 
your content once again and they will eventually buy from you. When it comes to lead generation, you need to understand the concept. You wanna generate leads because you wanna sell a product. You need to understand what are your prospects and you need to build a name in the long run because that name is going to speak for you later. That name is going to make your new products sell by itself. And then we engage with them. We engage with our content and with theirs. We also like and comment on their content. And then once we do that, we start to filter the leads. You can also do that in the short way. In the short way. You can make a survey, you can, a lot of people make uh, webinars, make videos, coupons, free PDFs, whatever. So filter your leads, okay? Give a little try of your product and ask them for their information so that you can target them again. And so we have two things. We give them free content. They are going to try a product. They are going to lower their guard. They are going to see it for themselves and we have their information so that we can retarget them again. So try to make a system that is going to bring you ongoing leads. The more you learn how to do this and your bigger your engagement, the bigger, the faster and the easier that people engage with you, the easier it will be for you to send them somewhere else with your free content and just directly sell them. Once, just finally, once you have built up a platform and you have a lot of engagement somewhere, and you have a lot of followers, you can move that into another platform. It's easier to build, for example, a Facebook group if you have a great YouTube channel and you're sending people from there to your group. You're going to fill in your group really fast and you are going to generate lots of leads there. Or if you have a really good uh, Instagram page, you can send those people into Facebook or into LinkedIn. You can mo move people into different pl uh, platforms and be omnipresent. That is what uh, personalities are. So that is your goal in lead generation, to be known to be trusted and to be followed, okay? Hope this video was helpful. If you need more strategies, you can watch the next video. You can subscribe into this channel. Thank you everyone for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.